In this video, we will continue with trigonometric equations. You will find this on page 193 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Let's look at another example. And now we are going to focus on angles in a negative direction. Now, the nice thing is, because we did it already in previous videos, you already have an idea. We are now just going to work out uh, an exact angle. There we just worked in terms of pi uh, or theta. Now we work an exact angle. So remember negative. It starts there and it goes this way around. This way around. Okay. So find theta and again. As soon as I see my interval is in radians, I stop. I stop. I put, I set my calculator to radian mode. And then I continue with the question. Otherwise, you're going to forget and you're going to make mistakes. So stop and make sure that your calculator is on radians, that you see the little R on top. Now, this is the angle. So the domain is now negative. They indicate it to you. So it starts here and it goes to zero. Indicate that the question is in radians and a negative direction. The answer should be given in radians. The sine function, but it's still, it's still, um, the cost diagram works the same. So the sine function is positive in the first and the second quadrant. So work out the basic angle, okay? Using your calculator, you should set your calculator to radiant mode already. So then press shift, sin, 0 0.25 equals, you get your and remember, it's in radians, so make it to four significant figures so that your answer can be correct to three significant figures. Okay. And then, basically, that is just... Uh, but now, don't forget. Don't forget. It's, it's no... I'm going this way around. It's negative. So if I want to find that one, there's pi. I put the negative, but I then say pi plus that reference angle. And then for that one... I put the negative and I say 2 pi minus the reference angle. Okay, so it's pi plus the reference, 2 pi minus the reference. And that pi plus the reference, 2 pi minus the reference. And that negative in front will, will just stay there in front. Okay, and that's how you do it. Okay, make sure it's not difficult. It's just a, a sketch will especially help you in this kind of questions. Now, because it's negative, I want to give you two. I want to give you one in radians, one in degrees. Okay, and there's even an interval um, blocked out. Okay, so let's make it smaller. And then again, try to do that too. And as soon as you are finished, you can continue the video. But let's start. Number one. Okay, so it's cos theta 0.642. Okay, but let's read. Find theta. So as soon as I see the interval and I see it's in radians, stop. Check if your calculator is on radians. Okay, then you continue. And cos, now I'm going to make my sketch. I must find the unknown angle. So if I make my sketch, always going to help you, especially in negative. Okay, then I say, where is cos, where is cos positive? Now, think of your cos diagram. Cos is positive here, and cos is positive here. Okay, but don't forget, this is, this, because they, st they will always write it like this, they will say the negative in front. Then you know, oh, negative direction. So they will not tell you. You will just see it out of the interval. So it's already telling you that um, they want this angle and they want this angle. And there is pi. Okay. But first, I'm going to find my basic angle. And how do I find this? I press second function or shift. I press cos. I press 0 0.642. And I don't forget that I must make it to three significant figures. Ach, not three, sorry, I'm saying incorrect. I mean correct. So, four. Eight, seven, three, seven. Okay, approximate that last value, the fourth one. 
Okay, now it's negative. So I'm going to say theater. Always put your negative for the, and then just look at your sketch. This is just going to be that 0 0.8737, and I approximate it to three significant figures, so 0 0.8. Seven, four. That is going to be my first one. Okay, and then the next one, and now it's two pi. So it's the negative, and then two pi minus that zero point eight seven three seven. Luckily, the colors is different. Move that one a little bit up. It's, oh, <laughs> but then it just move a little bit. Okay, that will not work. Okay, so let's continue. So if I'm, I'm just leave the negative and just press uh, 2 multiply shift by so that you get the real value minus 0 0.8737 equals and it's negative and if you approximate to three significant figures it's going to be negative 5.41. And that is going to be, and I see a mistake here in the first print of the teacher's guide. The negative is left out there. Okay, second print, it will be correct. Okay, and that will be my final answer. Let's do number two. Okay, let's look at number two. Find theta if negative 180, 0 is bigger than equal to negative 180, and smaller than equal to 0. Stop. Take your calculator and put it on degree mode. So my calculator mode, mode 1. There's a small d and then you move on. Otherwise you're going to forget and your values is going to be incorrect. So, so there's a part blocked out. I'll show you now. And tan theta is negative 0 0.255. Okay, let's start. Let's first write down tan theta negative 0 0.255. Now we're going to make that sketch. Now that negative showed me, okay, uh, it's the other way around. Okay, so in this case, it's going to go, now I just want to show you, there is 0, there is 0. Then this is negative 90. And this is negative 180. So it exists here. It can exist here. But this part is blocked out. Okay. Are you with me? Until negative 180, it will exist. Now, if the first thing I'm going to do is to say, okay, I have my cost diagram. Where is tan negative? Tan is negative in, okay, it's positive year and year. So it's going to be negative year, which is blocked out, and it's going to be negative year. Okay. So which is going to be, remember, it's in this direction. So first, I'm going to get my base again. Now, how do I press that? Shift, tan, or second function, tan, and then not the negative, only 0 0.255 equals. And what do I get? I get 14.31. Remember, make it to two decimal places so that your final answer can be correct to one decimal place. And now, oh, it's just, it's almost like quadrant one. So, theta is just put the negative and it's in quadrant one. Make it correct to three significant, ah, one decimal place. So, it's negative 14.3. And that is my final answer.